Proverbs 1 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Just by being here, I think we're not fools. Uh, we do fear the Lord and we are looking for knowledge. But I thought it might be interesting today to look at the quadrant of knowledge and how we can match it up to Scripture. Uh, so I don't know how many of you have seen this, but I saw it pop up both in psychology and speech courses in college. So it basically divides up everything that you know and don't know into four different regions. What, you, what I know that I know, what I know that I don't know, what I don't know that I know, and what I don't know that I don't know. So to run through each of them, uh, what I know that I know, so I assume we all know the answer to this one. So that would kind of be an example of we know that we know it. So a good biblical verse on this one was uh, Job 19.25. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the last, he will take his stand on the earth. I think we all know that Jesus lives. So moving on to what I know that I don't know, I think we all know that we don't know what date Jesus is returning. Mark 13, 32, but of that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but the Father alone. Next we have what I don't know that I know. So possibly some of you know this, but uh, did you know that you can tell if water is hot or cold just by hearing it pour without looking at it, just with your ear? I didn't, but I listened to a demo on the internet, and sure enough, I could. So let me go ahead and uh, do a demo for you here and see if everybody can pick it up. So an example of what you don't know that you know, a skill that everybody has, but we're so used to using our eyes, we don't actually realize that we know it. Verse for uh, what I don't know that I know, Psalms 139, uh, 13 and 14a. For you form my inward parts, you wove me in my mother's womb, I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. This goes to show how well God made us that there's things that we know without knowing that we do. So what I don't know that I don't know. So I found an interesting quote here by Donald Rumsfeld, who was the 21st U.S. Secretary of Defense. Reports say that something hasn't happened are always interesting to me, because as we know, there are known knowns, there are things that we know we know. We also know that there are known unknowns, that is to say, we know that there are some things we do not know. But there are also unknown unknowns, the ones that we don't know that we don't know. And if one looks throughout the history of the country and other free countries, it is a later category that tends to be the difficult ones. The absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, or vice versa. And we've got some verses that tell us what non-Christians don't know that they don't know. 1 Corinthians 2, 14, But a natural man does not accept the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, and he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually appraised. And Matthew 13, 10 through 14, And the disciples came to him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? And Jesus answered them, to you it has been granted to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it has not been granted. For whoever has, to him more shall be given, and he will have an abundance. But whoever does not have, even what he has shall be taken away from him. Therefore I speak to them in parables, because while seeing they do not see, and while hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. In their case the prophecy of Isaiah is being fulfilled, which says, You will keep on hearing, but will not understand. You will keep on seeing, but will not perceive. So I'd say that first one is what I know that I don't know. But the second one, what I don't know that I don't know. Hopefully that passage doesn't apply to us. But if all this is a little confusing, remember a verse that's a favorite of my dad's to quote. Proverbs 17, 28. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he's considered prudent. 